Are you sick and tired of feeling anxious and exhausted every single day? You just don't get it. You've tried so many holistic approaches. You've bathed in Epsom salts, you've had your tarot read, and yoga, you've dabbled with crystals, you've even cut caffeine out, and yet nothing seems to work. For a moment, you can feel hmm, almost relieved and better, but then it sneaks back on. The anxiety is back, the exhaustion is there. You just don't get it. Why do some people seem to be able to get over it really easily and stay fine, and others, like yourself, just never seem to be able to shake this anxiety off? I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm also gonna tell you what you can do. If this is you, then stay to the end because the last part is integral to this shift. I'm getting serious now because I've got the paper and pen out. Okay, this is a very good drawing of an iceberg, of course. It's the best analogy that I've ever seen for the mind. So this top part represents the conscious mind, and that only takes a 5%. And the conscious mind, some of its characteristics are like, it makes decisions. It's the part of your mind that will be scrolling through TikTok and something will catch your eye like this video and you'll stop because you're like, oh, there's something in this for me. It's a decision-making part. The best way to describe the unconscious mind is that part of the iceberg that's under the water that you can't see, but it's like the biggest tape recorder you've ever had. It's recorded your whole entire life and things like your belief systems live down here, your values live down here, your perspective on life lives down here, memory lives down here, and emotions live down here. Any negative emotions from unprocessed past traumas that's never completed the cycle and has literally just been stuffed down into the unconscious mind where it gets locked away in a box until hopefully you deal with it one day. You all know if you've got unprocessed past stress or trauma in your unconscious mind because it then starts to create symptoms. Some of the symptoms can be consistent anxiety, poor sleep, headaches, intrusive thoughts, depression, aches and pains in the body, and the list goes on. And we call this a dysregulated nervous system. You're wondering why I'm looking so happy about this. And the reason is because to regulate a nervous system is not that difficult once you know how. So you don't have an exhaustion and anxiety issue, no. You have a dysregulated nervous system. Instead of trying to fix your symptoms, stopping yourself from feeling so tired or pushing away your anxiety, regulate your nervous system. How you do that is, number one, notice when you are being triggered emotionally, when you suddenly feel angry or you feel like you want to defend yourself or perhaps you feel guilty or shame. Once you've identified all those triggers, stop resisting and persisting and instead feel them and deal them when we feel we heal when we resist we persist and honestly just watch those symptoms evaporate need some help i teach this in my mind freedom membership